That guy never won. gets an easy fight. Oh, that guy went fans, 10 rounds in his last we fight. Go. I watched now the replay the case, of uh, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division presented to you by Spar Star MMA. This bout is sponsored in part by SureFit Mouthguard. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Mike Beltran. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing red trunks trimmed in black. He is training out of Gokar's Highest End Academy in North Hollywood, California. He weighed in 145 pounds. He brings to the cage an undefeated record. Two wins with no losses. One win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sergio the Kid. Badass! His opponent across the cage fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing blue trunks trimmed in black. He is training out of LB Fight Shop in Long Beach by way of Sinara, Mexico. He weighed in 146 pounds. His record, two wins, one loss, with both wins coming by way of knockout, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jonathan the Snake Kinos. All right, fans, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. All right, referee Mike Beltran in charge, waiting to call the fighters to the center of the cage. This should be very exciting. Submission guy versus a striker. All right, gentlemen, first round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Head on, let's go. And we're underway. Touch of the gloves, and we're off. Perez with good movement, popping in and out, looking to feign with the jab. Kiros flirted with the kick, but Perez took the leg and now has Kiros on his back. Kiros needs to use that cage to see if he can wall walk up and get back to his feet. Got to get his feet down in order to do that. What he needs to do now is push his head down. That'll give him room for his legs to get his hips away, and then he'll be able to stand up. Now, if you're Sergio Perez, are you trying to pull those hips away from the cage? Yeah, and circle off, just as he's doing right now, so then he can flatten Kiros out to his back. And as he does it, right as I call it, sitting in the half guard, he has that one leg trapped but he's not doing a whole lot of action, so now he needs to initiate the grounding pound or Beltron might stand him back up because he's working, but he's not doing anything dominant to he's keep He's not that advancing position, position he's not position landing strikes. Kiro's doing a good job yep. defending so far. But oh, right back down. Right back down, this time on his head. That is heartbreaking to work the way up so hard, fight enough, and then get taken right back down so easily. Right in the side control. But he's not taking any damage, so it's it's almost it's tiring, but it's not it's not costing him anything at this point. Sergio Perez can't seem to land anything, looking to get that knee on belly. Oh, he's I'm got the arm! Kiros is turning the wrong way. He needs to turn back into him and stack him on his head. It's only a matter of time. Perez is gonna. Oh, he's, he's got, got the arm, three, but it's loose. Well, Kiros turns in. Nice. Nice, nice reversal by Jonathan Kiros. Ten seconds left in the back of the head. Ten seconds left in the round. Beautiful. Kiros is actually putting work in on the ground. He's just not going for positions. He's back throwing head. punches. Mike Beltran Stop. warning Kiros for punches Wait. to the back of the head. All right. That was a way, nice way for Kiros to come back at the end of the round. Survive the submission and then end up the round on top. But I think it might not be enough to win that round because Perez just dominated with two takedowns and a lot of position. Perez hardly broke a sweat in that round. Kiros breathing heavily out of the mouth. Being on your back for the first two minutes of the round can really suck the wind out of you, can't it, Matthew? Yes, because you're carrying your weight and that guy's weight, and then you're fighting to get that guy's weight off of you and get back to your feet. Now, now, do you think Perez is going to continue to try to smother this round, or do you think he's going to come out and try to land the ground and pound? I think he's going straight for the and Kiro's is going to probably try to establish that jab so he can keep the fight on his feet. Yeah, he wants to keep it on his feet. Seconds 
Round two, action, getting ready to start. The last minute instructions from Gokor. Again, second round, you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Head on, let's go. Round two underway, another touch of the gloves. Kuros moving to his right. And Perez flirting with the takedown, but it's not there. Yes. Kiro's finally trying to find his reign and establish his distance because he's the longer fighter. So he doesn't want to end up on his back again this round. Kiro's using that left jab to paw and keep the distance. Nice Watch knee. The cup. Watch the cup. Watch the cup. You good, Sergio? Oh, there's a guillotine choke under there. Double leg by Sergio, but he gets caught in the guillotine by Kiro's. Looks like the hands are underneath the chin, not the arm. Kiro's oh, able nice. to get his head free. That's the perfect way for a real jiu-jitsu guy. He stayed calm even though the submission was close. But he knew he didn't have it, so he just popped his head right out. Perez he's... back in top position, but Kiro's again controlling the posture really well. Yes. Now in full guard. Kiro's flirts with opening the guard to get his heels on the hips to try to push Perez away. Now it looks like he's going for a triangle. Triangle or arm bar, he's trying to push off the cage to turn that angle. Because finally Perez starts throwing that ground and pound. He, he can't just let that guy sit down there and, and just be fresh and not be in any danger of punches. Watch the fingers in the eyes. I don't know if you can call any ground and pound superficial, but none of those punches seem to land very well. No. Mike Beltran asking him to work. Looks like he might be ready to stand him up here. Perez is not, he's not advancing his position. He's not pounding the guy out. He's not making pay for being on his back. Mike Beltran has seen enough. He's standing both fighters back up with 10 seconds left to go in the round. 10 seconds. Nice, nice uppercut, nice. misses by Kiro. Oh, another one. Good job, guys. Has to be another round for Rios. Yeah. Uh, or for uh, Perez. Yeah. Got the takedown. And just, route, he's riding the guy out. They call, this, they call this strategy lay and pray. He's laying and praying on the guy. He's not really making him pay for being on the ground. He's not delivering a whole lot of punishment to the guy for being on, on the bottom. So the guy, he's just getting those takedowns and trying to work those points. From any class photography during the bouts, we thank you for your cooperation. Once again, no class photography during the bouts. Thank you. All right, this fight is brought to you by SureFit. You go to www.surefit.com, one of the best boil and bite mouth guards in the business. You can get 40% off your own custom mouth guard. They'll put whatever you want on it. Look like a pro fighter, even though you're not. Even though. I would say those short fit mouth guards are real good because I have a, I have both kind. I have a expensive molded and the boy back, bite. The they back. both work about the same. All right, gentlemen, third and final round. You ready and this fight? fight is brought to you, you by Dog fight? Pound oh, MMA. Go. Hector Sick Dog Ramirez is Jim. Third round action, oh. Kiros lands a big shot right off the bat. Perez looking for the takedown once again. Oh, and, and he's got it. Down. Perez closes the guard. Pass the leg, pass the leg. Yes, 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 one leg, one leg, one leg, one leg, one leg. Kiros looking for that triangle arm bar again, but Perez doing a good job of stacking him. Now he's passing his guard. He's almost in a north-south position but I think he's gonna settle down inside control and just ride him out. Now he has his head there. He can go for a guillotine, a backside guillotine. That left arm bar's there too all day. Exactly. He can also set up a north-south choke from that position too. Now he switched ties. Maybe he's gonna work something on that right side. The north-south choke of course made famous by American top team fighter, one of the, the best in the business, Jeff Monson, who's been around forever. Now he hasn't been that crucifix, looking to try to, working a little bit more ground and pound this round. Looks like a modified mounted crucifix position. Armbar again is there, armbar again is there. 
But Kiro's doing a good job of defending. Yeah, he's staying alive on that floor. He, he's not getting the position war, but he's staying out of control. It's strictly survival mode right now for Kiro's. He can't get anything done from his back. He has a guillotine locked in. Perez does from the mounted position. If he crawls on top, he can finish it. He can also finish it from the north-south position. It's a little bit more difficult. Knee on belly. He's controlling his head. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds to go. He can work the submission, or he can just ride out the points. Nice left hand lands. Armbar attempt again. As the round comes in, the fight comes to a close. This should be an easy decision by the dominant judges. performance yeah. fight. Three rounds to none. Sergio Perez puts on the grappling clinic. It looks like high stand's gonna go three and zero. Oh. I'm gonna turn it over to my broadcaster so I can head in cage and do the interview. Nice job by Perez to just control the ground game. He didn't throw too many punches, not too much ground and pound, but it was a good dominant performance of position. He settled his man down and kept him from getting up. It improved his position all over the cage, which should be a winning performance. He should have easily inked three rounds out. Kiros never really got himself going. Never really landed any significant punches or strikes, so we'll wait for the judges to render their cards. As we wait on our judges' decision, we'd like to take another shout out to our sponsors, Dog Pound MMA for this fight. Sure Fit, Down to Scrap, Fight Me Clothing Lines, JT Media, and of course our Spar Star CEO, Tony T-Bone Padilla, for putting on another great action-packed night of fights. All right, here we go. Jim Fitzgerald bringing up our ring decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. All three judges ringside scored the bout 29 to 28 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision. The red corner, Sergio, the kid, badass. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, from the clinch report, Jonathan King. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner. Sergio, a real tough fight. Real tough fight, Jonathan Kiro's a real tough opponent. Talk us through the finish. The uh, ended up being a decision. You had him mounted in the end. Seemed to be uh, have him control your takedowns. Was that the plan going in? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's that's the plan. You know, that's my bread and butter wrestling. I'm not gonna hide it. I thought I had that arm bar there. And I'm never, you know, 100% um, with the decision, but uh, I'll take it anywhere I can get it. Now, what's it mean to get a big win? I mean, you fight out of one of the biggest camps in in the world. Uh, highest stand MMA, gold core, judo gene. What's it like to get a win in front of your fans and friends? Listen up, he, he's the man right there, right? You guys hope, give him a round of applause right there. He's cornering three people, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We do the easy part, he does the hard part. It's self-explanatory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner. Highest stand, 3-0 today. Great job, Sergio.